Hi guys, I'm Jackson, welcome to China, what's good? Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about a musician, singer, dancer, performer, fashion designer, businessman, Jackson Wang. And if you're ready, let's get started. Jackson Wang was born in Hong Kong in 1994. His parents were famous athletes. Father Wang Ruiji was a famous fencing star and mother Sophia Cho was an acrobatics gymnast. Jackson Wang was also having quite a lot of perspectives in fencing career. He was a member of national Hong Kong fencing team and won uh, several awards. One of them was the first place in Asian Junior and Cadet Facing Championship in 2011. Coming to his education, Jackson Wang studied in American International School in Hong Kong. And by the way, he was also offered a scholarship by Stanford University for his outstanding achievements in fencing. But he turned down the offer to pursue his dream of becoming a musician. Jackson Wang was noticed by JYP Entertainment back in 2011 while he was playing basketball. Actually, when the agents of JYP came up to him, Jackson Wang agreed to participate in the audition because he thought that JYP Entertainment was the agency of Big Bang, <laughs> but he made a mistake. Uh, he ended up ranking first out of 2,000 participants uh, in the December of 2010. However, only seven months later, he was able to convince his parents and he finally moved to Seoul, where he started training under JYP Entertainment. In 2013, Jackson appeared in a reality survival show, Win Who Is Next, where trainees of JYP Entertainment and YG Entertainment competed with each other. As a result of this show, uh, JYP Entertainment's uh, boys band GOT7 was formed, and the members included Jackson, Yu Gyeom, JB Jr., Bam Bam, Yongjae, and uh, Jr. I hope I didn't forget anyone. Uh, the group debuted with its first single Girls 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 in January of 2014 and started their path of becoming one of the biggest boys bands in Korea. Jackson Wang also gained wider popularity after appearing on 2014's SBS variety show Roommate. <laughs> uh, which brought him SBS Rookie Awards the same year. In 2015, Jackson Wang became a member of uh, another show, but it was Chinese. It was his Chinese debut on television, and the show was called uh, Go Fridge. Uh, and, and all the compositions for the second and third seasons of the show were arranged, written, and composed by Jackson. In 2016, GOT7 gave their first concert in Seoul, and Jackson performed his self-composed songs together with other members, uh, Bam Bam and Yu Gyeom. <laughs> 2017 was an important year in Jackson's career. In January of that year, Jackson won the Popular Artist of the Year Award at Sina Weibo Awards. Wang Jiaer. At the same time, he established his record label, Tim Wang. By the way, interesting fact, at the beginning there were only Jackson and his manager uh, who were kind of creating Team Wang, but, but now the company has become um, quite popular and bigger and it has more than like 70 employees. Jackson Wang also released his first English single called Papillon. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Papillon. Which debuted at number one in Billboard China We Chart. The same year, Jackson Wang had very big campaigns with brands such as Adidas, Lenovo, and Pepsi. In 2017, Jackson's figure appeared in Madame Tussauds uh, Museum in Hong Kong. Uh, the following years of 2018 and 2019 were still quite uh, fruitful for Jackson, and he released uh, successful singles such as oh. Dawn of Us, OK, Different Game, and others. Jackson Wang was appointed as the new ambassador of uh, Fendi China, and uh, he released his own collection together with the brand. Uh, he designed the clothes, accessories, shoes, and everything, and the collection was sold out immediately after its launch. And by the way, Jackson has also collaborated with other world worldwide brands like Armani, and is still uh, like ambassador of Cartier and Louis Vuitton. 
In 2019, Jackson released his first debut solo album called Mirrors with the leading singles uh, Bullet to the Heart and Dway. The album ended up charting uh, 32nd in Billboard 200 and it's the, uh, like the highest charting uh, debut album for a Chinese singer. 2020 was also a very successful year in Jackson's career. He released his uh, single 100 Ways which is very popular and it has um, the big uh, the most views out of his music videos on YouTube. By the way, he also established his uh, clothing brand Tim Wang, uh, which he developed for almost three years. In January 2021, after the expiration of contracts with JYP Entertainment, all got Seven's members left the agency. Nowadays, uh, Tim Wang is responsible for all the Jackson's international activities. The same year, Jackson made his uh, US late night television debut with its song uh, Leave Me Loving You on James Gordon, on the Late Late Show with uh, James Gordon. In April of the same year, Jackson Wang made history by performing on Coachella's main stage. And uh, it's the first time, it was the first time a Chinese performer did it. He performed 100 ways together with Blow from his new album Magic Man and at that time unreleased single Cruel. Uh, oh. After the performance, Jackson Wang was number one star trending on Twitter. On July 2022, Jackson Wang held a one hour show at Raja Mangala Stadium, opening the match between Liverpool and Manchester United. Being one of the most popular Asian singers, Jackson Wang performed in Coachella in 2023 as well, together with an American singer, Ciara. In 2022, Jackson Wang finally announced his first solo tour called Jackson Wang Magic Man World Tour 2023. It has been held in places like Thailand, Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, Paris, London and many others. And the tour is still not over, the new dates are going to be announced soon. Coming to the concert itself, uh, people say that it was crazy. I wasn't there, but I wish I was. <laughs> um, the energy and the atmosphere were crazy. Everything was good. The performance of Jackson and he himself was on the top as usual. The prices started from $60 and reached up to $1,000. Why do so many people love Jackson Wang? First of all, I think it's about, of course, his personality. I used to be a huge GOT7 fan and Jackson Stan back in 2018 and I loved everything about him like his uh, he, was, he was so funny energetic but at the same time he was quite smart and witty and his energetic personality is definitely what makes him stand out out of everyone else uh, <laughs> and of course, I should mention his uh, skills as a singer, performer, dancer, like he can rap, he can sing, he can uh, dance, uh, he can compose, he can write and like he's so good. And of course, he can speak four languages as well. Uh, he can speak fluently Cantonese, Mandarin, uh, English, Korean. He also knows Japanese and French. Mm, he's so good. <laughs> I miss you. And I'm sure that you want to see me. Mo kwa ju lea, le kwa mga ju ngwa. Mo do shang nong a, nong shang wu ba. A la la pa sa cha zi, zi wei. Na no po go shi po. No na po go shi po. Kurun pa cha cha zi zi man na. He's also very caring with his fans and people he works with. Uh, he has good work ethics. I think these are the reasons why everyone loves Jackson Wang, like even children and older people. So I want to ask what are your reasons for loving Jackson Wang and if you do have some, please leave down in the comments. I'll be very, very glad to read them all. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any recommendations or like topics for the next videos, Oh, you can again leave them down in the comments. I'll be very, very happy to read them all and see you next time. Bye-bye.